To execute a flow in X matters, you need at least two things, a trigger and a step. A trigger will initiate the flow and the step will perform an action. Flows can involve multiple steps and integrations to add automation and intelligence to your resolution process. Let's learn how this works by creating a simple flow using Slack and a notification to an on-call resource. We'll start with the trigger. The email trigger is the easiest to use. Drag the email trigger onto the flow, mouse over it, and click the edit icon. This will also prompt you to save your flow. Let's give the trigger ID a more identifiable name and then select the authentication method. Leave it as from any email. This will make it easier to initiate later. You'll need to add the user that will be used to initiate the flow. Our name is added automatically, but we can type two or more letters of another username to perform a search. The outputs tab shows you what information is contained in this trigger and what can be used in steps further in this flow. The flood control tab will allow you to tweak the notification flood control settings in case this trigger is initiated too frequently. Click Done to save. Now let's create an X Matters alert. Go to the Tools tab and drag Create Alert using a form onto the canvas. Drag the output from our trigger to the input of this new step. Now let's create our message and responses. I'm going to quickly do this since it's covered in the Workflow Forms and Workflow Messages video. The one difference I'd like to point out while I'm creating this form is the flow variables at the side. These are from our email trigger. Every time you create a step, the information from one step is passed down to the next connected step as variables. We can drag any flow variable onto our message or use it anywhere else in this step. Next, let's enter our support team, in which we're first on call for, as the recipient, and enter an incident ID. Adding an incident ID connects this alert to an incident, allowing you to update this alert as the incident progresses. Let's leave the devices to All Devices, allowing this alert to target any of the recipient's devices. Handling and overrides allows us to customize how recipients interact with voice notifications. We can just leave this as is, as the default options are already optimized. Let's click Done to save this step. Under this alert, we can see a new option called Activity Triggers. This allows you to branch your flow depending on the action taken by the recipients of the alert. Let's add Responses. This will add the three response options we created earlier in the alert. The next step to add is Slack. We'll need to add an endpoint first to connect our Slack instance. We can do this on the Components menu at the top. Click Add Endpoint and select Slack as our endpoint type. Now it's as easy as clicking Connect, selecting which of our Slack instances to connect to, and giving it an easy to identify name and saving. Let's go to the Apps tab on the palette, expand the Slack tab, and drag three post to channel steps onto the canvas. Before configuring these steps, we'll need to connect them to each of the responses. This will allow us to use the variables from our responses step in our Slack step. Now when we edit this step, we can see the tabs for the information passed from the previous steps. Let's add our incident alert channel as the target. For the message, let's add the alert ID variable, then acknowledged by, and then the responded to by first name variable. This will add a message to the channel, letting everyone know who has taken responsibility for the issue. Make sure you select your endpoint, and let's do this for the other two steps as well. Save our flow and then test it out. Copy the email address and send a message to it using your email client. When we check our XMatters inbox, we can see our notification. Let's respond with Acknowledge. This response posts a message to our Slack channel and terminates the incident. In our activity monitor, we can see that our flow was successfully executed. You've now taken your first steps towards creating automated tool chains and reducing your mean time to resolution. To try X Matters automated workflows yourself, sign up for free at xmatters.com slash free. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, I hope you'll consider giving it a like and subscribing. Have a great day.